we have an owl in our forest who communicates with the owl in our neighbor's forest. And it fascinates me when I go out at night and hear the two of them communicate. Such a strange, monotone voice. One of my favorite poets, Richard Wilbur, has written a poem about the beautifully marked barred owl. So here's Richard Wilbur's A Barred Owl. The warping night air, having brought the boom of an owl's voice into her darkened room, we tell the wakened child that all she heard was an odd question from a forest bird, asking of us, if rightly listened to, who cooks for you? And then, who cooks for you? Words which can make our terrors bravely clear, can also thus domesticate a fear and send a small child back to sleep at night, not listening for the sound of stealthy flight, or dreaming of some small thing in a claw, borne up to some dark branch, and eaten raw. 